Good morning guys, welcome to another video of SpaceX update. Yesterday, SpaceX conducted another cryogenic test on the full-stack Starship. The wet dress rehearsal that we expected didn't quite happen. Instead, another test with partial load was done. It's hard to tell if it was a successful test or if something was wrong. All the remaining road closure schedules for the week have been cancelled. This could also mean they had got the required data and will proceed with the bigger one next week. So, it will be interesting to see what SpaceX has to come up with on Monday. Yesterday, SpaceX successfully launched its fourth mission of the year. GPS-3 Space Vehicle 6 mission was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40. The first stage booster of this mission was only on its second flight. After stage separation, it returned to Earth and successfully landed on the drone ship. If SpaceX continues to launch at this pace, it will easily achieve over 80 launches this year, excluding the Starship launches. This morning, another Starlink mission, Starlink Group 24 mission is set to launch from SLC-4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. SpaceX will use a brand new Falcon 9 booster for this mission. A batch of 51 Starlink satellites will ride to space on this booster. Currently, liftoff is scheduled for 7.23 am Pacific time. Don't forget to watch the launch live on this channel. ABL Space Systems gave an update on its horribly gone wrong RS-1 Flight 1. On January 10, ABL Space Systems attempted to launch its first orbital mission of its RS-1 rocket. But, the mission ended with failure with the vehicle explosion on the launch pad after impacting the ground. According to the statement released by the company, the first stage of the rocket lost power 10 seconds after liftoff, thereby causing all nine E2 engines to shut down simultaneously. Many critical launch support systems of the pad were destroyed by the explosion. But ABL is determined to work harder to make its upcoming RS-1 Flight 2 and 3 a success. I want to appreciate ABL Space Systems for their transparency in this report. Good luck with their next mission which they have already started working on. That is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching it till the end once again.